Anytime things seem sudden and strange, there is usually a coup involved. Bruce Arians, who never showed any interest in the front office, although he had hinted at retirement, suddenly retires so quickly that the Buccaneers had to rush the staff and rush the players together to tell them, meaning it wasn't really planned, meaning Brady wanted him out. Listen, Tom retires, then unretires. Arians, I'm good here. Then suddenly I'm moving upstairs. Todd Bowles is in. It all is very strange and sudden. Come on now. I think most of you understand how the game works. This was never culturally... New England to Tampa was always a weird fit. One is academic, cold weather, Boston, politics, sports, a power broker's town. One, Tampa, Ebor City, cocktails early, a goofy franchise. One, obsessed quarterback. One, dysfunctional franchise. Tom went there for more control and better weapons. He got the weapons. He got the Super Bowl. But what Tom never truly got, even in his Super Bowl-winning season, was control. And that Arians is a seat of the pants, go-with-your-gut coach. When Arians, and I like Bruce, but when he went to CBS to broadcast, the feeling was, eh, he wasn't overly prepared. He was funny. People liked him. He is a seat of the pants guy, and Brady's not. This was always a weird cultural fit. It was always a weird fit. Old school Bruce adapting, evolving, obsessed Tom. And it worked the first year. Folks, we saw this multiple times. I mean, Arians called out Brady. Tom took one for the team. You think Tom liked that? Legends don't like to be called out. They can laugh. They can fall on the sword at the podium. They don't like that. So this has always been a very, very turbulent relationship. And of course it is. Of course it is. Bruce Arians, you know, I always I always think Bruce Arians was a perfect fit with Big Ben. Big Ben was not obsessed. Big Ben was a gunslinger. Big Ben is an over-the-top uh, backyard football quarterback. Arians and Big Ben, to me, like, that's a perfect relationship. You know what I think Tom's perfect relationship is? Kyle Shanahan. Obsessed, maniacal, um, Consider the great scheming coach. Remember, as good as McVeigh is, McVeigh will acknowledge privately Shanahan's the better scheme guy. Sean is, is the better culture builder, better in front of the room. And he has built that with the Rams. So, you know, fit matters. This is why Aaron Rodgers, for all his talent, has won Super Bowl. He doesn't always get along with players. He has struggled with coaches. He has struggled with executives. Aaron Rodgers should have multiple Super Bowls. If you looked at his talent and Tom, you'd say he's got seven Super Bowls. The other guy has one. Tom usually is a better fit, easier to get along with. Um, Aaron's difficult. And so, you know, fit has always been undervalued in sports. Chemistry has always been undervalued. We talk about this often that, you know, if, if it was just about movie stars make movies, then why wouldn't Paramount or Sony or Disney just go – hire five movie stars, make movies, and everybody files into the theater. doesn't work that way. It's plot. It's director works very well with casting director and producer and stars and complimentary pieces. So, you know, Brady and Arians was destined to have a great deal of tumult. It was destined to be turbulent. They got a Super Bowl out of it, but all these things happening so strangely and so suddenly, they tell you. Tom wanted two things in Tampa. He wanted better weapons and more control. And he got one and he didn't get the other. Now, Todd Bowles as the coach. I'm going to talk about that in a couple of minutes with Mike Silver. Um, you know, Todd is the kind of coach that will let Brady take the offense. That's very much his personality. Todd's a great defensive coach. He's not power hungry. Um you know, he is not a, a formulaic coach where this is the way I do it, my way or the highway. It's not really Todd Bowles' personality. He'll let Tom run the offense. He'll run the defense. It it will, you know, Bowles, when he was with the Jets, 
You know, he wasn't much at the podium. He's not much of a personality. He is not a self-promoter. He's just a really driven, humble, grateful, gracious guy who coaches the hell out of defense. Um, you know, is he a great coach? He's a great coordinator. But I think he and Brady will align better than Bruce and Brady. And, I mean, Tom is obsessed. I still contend that, and we've had multiple reports to confirm this, including Tom Brady's dad. What did Tom Brady's dad say two, three weeks ago? Tom didn't want to retire. There were external forces. Was one of the external forces the power grab? I mean, Tom Brady's dad said there were, there were other things going on. He didn't name names. So, you know, Tom Brady's dad has to a fault, not for me, but for Tom, to a fault been honest. He came out. Tom doesn't want to retire. So this is, um, it may be sudden and strange, but it's fairly predictable. And, I mean, Brady is too detailed and too planned <laughs> to suddenly retire and unretire. That is the most un-Brady move ever. That is just, that's just not what he does. I mean, Aaron Rodgers in drama, yeah, that's kind of predictable. Brady not having everything thought out, that's just not, that's so off-brand. So, listen, I think Bowles and Brady will be a better fit. Tom runs the offense, I'll have say in personnel when he can, absolute control of the game plans, which you were, you watch Tom versus Time, he wanted more control of the game plans. That's that's well documented. Now he's going to have it. So, you know, a lot of times you go for a job and there's two or three things that you want and you get one or two of them early and then you have success and then you get that one you didn't get the first year in your second or third year. And so once Brady won the Super Bowl, the owners probably went, all right, all right, let's 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 weigh the options here. Greatest football quarterback ever. Good coach, good guy. We still owe him money on the salary. We'll just move him upstairs. But that's what this is. Now, you're probably going to have agents, and, and you're going to have people come out and say, oh, this is really their best of friends. Oh, stop. We're not idiots here. Sports fans, you follow it, I follow it. This is, this is incredibly easy to spot what happened here. It's not like Bruce and Tom can't walk down the hallway. Arians is still getting his money. They're still going to be in the same building. They're adults. They'll get along fine. This is better for the franchise. It's better for Tom. You know, Bruce Arians has had a heck of an NFL career. Now he's just going to have a different office, probably on the second floor. 